What's going on, my people? All right. Whoever my people may be. I would walk with my people if I could find them. No, but, no, but Vivaldi, so this is the about the Vivaldi web browser. And this is a review about one of the most fantastic, incredible web browsers of all time. So what I want to talk about is the workspace feature and overall functionality. It makes it the GOAT. Um, I was pretty impressed, more than anything, at the capabilities of of this browser, it, it, its ability to allow me to separate my different workspaces, whether it's my entertainment work, entertainment space, my marketing space, it, it's beautiful. So as somebody who loves and enjoys um, uploading videos to YouTube, recording videos uh, for YouTube, or not even just YouTube, honestly, for other social mediums like Rumble or what what have you i really enjoy the process it's it's really fun and just maybe it's the maybe this is the nerdy side of me but it's fun to have a new way of working on your projects a more efficient way and i feel like the vivaldi browser might be in my opinion the best web browser out there it really is it, honestly it, it's better than chrome i mean it is based on the chromium framework if i'm not mistaken and um I wouldn't say I'm a browser expert by any means, but after all the reviews I had done, just looking through the different web browsers on what was the most productive, Vivaldi <laughs> definitely took the cake, and I'm, I want to spread the message and the word on the greatness of this incredible web browser. It's, 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 it's seriously, I'm stuttering a bit, I'm sorry everybody, um, but it might just be one of the greatest web browsers I've seen in a long time, and it's based on the Chromium framework. I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty confident about that actually. The one thing I like about it, I'm just gonna say the main pros about it are, and I've had trouble finding cons. By the way, this is like one of the first times I've had a web browser that was so complete, and I, I don't even know if I'll try to come up with a con at some point. But here, I'll go over the pros because all I can think of right now are positives for it. Um, the positives are um, it there's no slow load times whenever you have multiple tabs open. Um, tab transitions are very seamless when you're typing. Um, there's no delay. It all feels very fluid. Um, I think that this, I think Vivaldi does a really good job of memory management and processing management. So going between back and forth between the different tabs is seamless and you can have as many tabs open as you want. I will say I do have the benefit of working on a very, very incredible machine. It's an HP Envy. Uh, it's one of those that has a Core i9 processor, great video card, great everything, great memory, um, great, basically great, great RAM is what I mean. Um, it's like 16 gigabytes of RAM. You could even expand that, which is incredible. Um, but yeah, just incredible processing power. It's got um, the video process, the video card, and there's like an NVIDIA. I don't even remember which NVIDIA type it is. There's so damn many, but it's really good. It allows me to process things very well. Just the whole computer is is uh, is another worldly experience. Also, one one terabyte hard drive. Anyway, I could go on and on about the specs of this computer. But what I really want to talk about is how incredible this this browser is it's allowed me to be way more productive once i'm off so when i'm working i'm working on a different computer on my actual job um and i consider this i'm starting to consider this more of my own actual job as well because this is a very performance-based one um being able to do a podcast being able to do, uh, first off i've always felt like i had the edge of doing broadcasting i know that my my father uh has experience in it oddly enough it's really weird. Like I didn't when I wasn't when I was younger, I wasn't really interested in radio, but somehow I just I he and I we've got very technical minds, so we're really good about you know figuring out stuff with electronics and um you know we're both introverted freaks basically, um and that's just it. And we, I guess we like working with things more than people. I like helping people, but I'm really not that extroverted. I could be extroverted. It's not my first option. <laughs> my first choice is seclusion or hanging out with a very, very small group of friends. Um, that's, that's a good time to me. I don't know. I'm very boring <laughs> in the long run. Um, but yeah, overall, it's, it's Vivaldi browser. It's just 
unreal. And I think that it doesn't, I'm actually pissed that, and it's been around, I think, for a bit. Let me take a look at the, uh, well, hell, let's take a look in Vivaldi itself. Hold on. Vivaldi browser wiki. I'm pretty sure there's a wiki f uh, article for it. <clears throat> oh, there we go. And it was really quick in Vivaldi. I should have showed you guys. That was actually a missed opportunity. Um, let me just play real fast. Window capture. I always, I never, I'm, pr I'm not prepared half the time with this shit. So this is Vivaldi. You're actually looking at an article about Vivaldi through the Vivaldi browser. So, um, so basically what Vivaldi is, is it, we'll just go with the official wiki page real fast, is a freeware cross-platform web browser with a built-in email client developed by Vivaldi Technologies. A company founded uh, by Taksuki Tamalia and, and John Stephenson Vaughn, whatever, who co-founded CEO, who is the co-founder and CEO of Opera Software. Vivaldi was officially launched on April 6th, 2016. Although intended for general users, it is first and foremost targeted towards technically inclined users as well. As former Opera users disgruntled by <coughs> its transition from the Presto layout engine to a Chromium-based browser that resulted in the loss of many of its distinctive features. Despite also being Chromium-based, I was right about the Chromium-based, nice. Vivaldi aims to revive the features of the Presto-based opera with its own proprietary modifications. Um, so basically, Vivaldi began as a virtual community website that re replaced My Opera, which was shut down by Opera Software in March. Da, da, da. Um, John, basically the original CEO, John was angered by this decision because he believed that this community helped make the Opera web browser, what it was, and then da, 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 da. so basically he got kind of pissed off at management. Um, interesting. So let me see. Oh, we're excited on his own. Yeah, I honestly, um, so Vivaldi became the first web browser to be available for the Android automotive operating system used in the Swedish electric vehicle. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So, like, this browser really is... So, I don't know, it's incredible. Vivaldi has a minimalistic user interface with basic icons. It, it honestly... I do. It is for very technically minded people, but it's also just as great for the everyday ordinary user. The learning curve for this browser is very tiny. So, you don't really... There's not really much to learn. All you know is you got tabs, you got your... This is... Um, in fact, I, I can show you guys right now. So as you can tell, you can see all my tabs. This is my production workspace, by the way. So as you can tell, I got my uh, affiliate master sheet, YouTube content schedule. This is my. This is basically where I come up with crazy titles, schedule YouTube videos. Um, I got like affiliate links, YouTube scheduler, upload defaults, show title stuff like that. It's basically a way for me to archive a lot of interesting data that I use for the YouTube channel. Um, and then this is just where I. This is <laughs> this is where I come up with keywords. I, I basically search for keywords here uh, for YouTube videos, and then we got a uh, we got Opus Clip. This does wonders, by the way. It allows you to edit long form videos into short form videos. I highly recommend you look into it. Um, we got the podcast tab. This is where I upload my videos. I, I also, even though I upload to YouTube, I also upload to Rumble, and I also upload to Spotify Podcasters. Because, you know, there's a part of me that's always a little afraid that YouTube will uh, one day cancel me. And I like to have, make sure that my videos are archived on other platforms. And Rumble is a great YouTube alternative. It might be actually, in my opinion, the best YouTube alternative out there. And um, as far as it goes, I'm a big Rumble fanboy. So um, I, I, I like to upload to Rumble. For a while, I wasn't uploading. And I don't know why. Um, I decided it was worth it. I have to upload again. So. And then we got the YouTube uh, studio. This is another YouTube studio page I keep open when I'm uploading videos. But this is my production tab. This is for me to upload videos to YouTube, Rumble, Spotify. Those are the three main tabs. Allows me to also upload my video to Opus Clip, which will allow it to dissect the video and create video clips, short video clips that will be usable um, uh, 
that it'll be uploadable. Basically, I just download the videos. <laughs> and this is, like I said, this helps me find keywords. This allows me to schedule and do things. This is my production tab. Really, in all actuality, this is my production tab right here. And you see right here, it says production. Now, when I click on production, what does it do? Okay, cool. So this gives me like all sorts of different uh, options here. We got YouTube. We got my inbox. I'm not going to go into my inbox right now. But um, as you can see, this is my start page for Vivaldi. It's not, it, I, I think it always starts there. I can't remember if it always starts there or not. But if it does, um, if it does and it does, then my Bluetooth speaker is powered off. Is that battery? No, it's got battery. It just powers off because it's inactive. But yeah, my, my Bluetooth speaker, I don't know why. It like gives me a jolt. Like I'm, It'll be like, power off. And I'm like, ugh. ugh so creepy. Uh, it's very sinister. It's not really that bad. But <laughs> anyway, I'm making something out of nothing. But yeah, as you can tell, um, what's really neat about Vivaldi is... Obviously, you could tell, like, you could see that I got YouTube on my start page. I got my Gmail. I might put Gmail in one of my workspaces, to be honest. But then when we go to, when we go outside of the entertainment start page, you know, I'm, I'm going right to production. Here's my production tab. You already saw this. Here's my marketing tab. Um, I actually usually have more tabs open in this one, but only right now at the moment I got X, which Twitter sucks no matter what you do, but it's a good place to for me to basically advertise my channel to the best of my ability. Um, I thought about using Reddit, but they always, they always tend to ban me every time I try to share my material. So that sucks. Um, so I've kind of given up on Reddit as a community. I've been looking into other social mediums that I might add as tabs to this marketing workspace, but yeah, it's really cool. You get to create, and it keeps the tabs by the way, even after you close. So like, I'm not gonna close it now, but when you close and you open it back up, it'll have all of your tabs still there in the order that you want, everything that you want, it saves it. And it keeps it there. Um, this is something that I feel like a lot of modern browsers lack is that ability to go back and forth, back and forth. So then we got, um, so then our next one is we got like affiliate networks. This is happens to be my eBay one. Um, Let's see. I'm not gonna. Be, I'm not gonna sign into it right now. But this, like, this is my affiliate networks. I don't really have many, so I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna. I might even rename the workspace to like um, uh, marketing. No, because I already got marketing for trying to market to social networks. I, I'll figure out a name for this space <laughs> soon enough. Yeah, and then we got education. This is for me to learn different things. This is really cool. It's really neat because. I consider myself a, a forever student. I will always try to learn new things, I, things that will help me. And, you know, using the Google garage thing allows me to learn new skills, get certificates that are online oriented for certificates, things like that. So it's really fun, really enjoyable. Um, and whenever you want to make a new workspace, you just click this little new workspace icon there, as you can see. But it's just all very, very handy. I I have fallen in love with this particular browser. I I can't get enough of it. It's just something I, you know, normally I'm not, su like, I love web browsers for the sake that, you know, they got a lot of cool advanced features. It's neat to be able to use online services so quickly and easily in today's age. But it's just gotten better. And I think that to Vivaldi, is the evolution of web browsers and I do think it is the number one web browser out there. I've, I, you know, obviously when you're working, if you work a job that requires the usage of a computer, you can't just tell your employer to start using Vivaldi, which if my employer told me that they were going to start using Vivaldi, I'd be like, thank goodness. But no, we don't. We use a different browser. We use the standard browsers that everybody else uses and that's fine. But when I'm doing what I need to do, um, whenever I'm for my show on my own personal computer for my own personal business, I'm using Vivaldi, you know, you can't, like I said, when you're at work, you, you have to use what it tells you to use and that's fine. But when you're, when you're using your personal computer and if you have like a YouTube channel or podcast or any sort of business that you run personally that requires different workspaces on a browser, Vivaldi really rocks. And I think if I find out more of the features, uh, more about the features. I am going to do a very 
uh, maybe more videos on it. I'm a Vivaldi fan. In fact, I might do just more Vivaldi dedicated uh, episodes because I just I can't get enough of this web browser. I really can't. But no, I just want to thank you guys for taking the time to be uh, just to be loyal viewers. And I hope this helps in some way um, spread awareness to the greatness of this browser because I didn't know it existed until like no more than like about a month or so ago. And I didn't really think about using it until now. And, and, and I'm just regretting never using it before. <laughs> I wish I would have known about this browser sooner, man. It really is cool, and I think it'll let you put extend get extensions that are Google Chrome based. It it's basically a way way better version of it's a way way better version of Google Chrome, way better, incredible. It's almost kind of like a little bit of it has a little bit of like Opera reminds me of the Opera browser, of course, you know, but uh, it's built on the Chromium uh, engine. So it's just incredible. I don't know. I can't say anything else, but I just have mad love for it. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to view this video. And I hope you all have an incredible rest of the day. Bye.